Hey, what's up, guys? All right, today I wanted to make this video uh, pretty much kind of as a, as a follow-up to uh, my Master Cleanse uh, Detox uh, Gift and a Curse video. Uh, actually, it's, it's, it's an update for some, but for some, it's really just uh, really an introduction to some of the things that uh, I've been going through. I know a lot of uh, what what I've been going through. I haven't really been posting it. I haven't been sharing it publicly. Um, but I figure it's time for me to just put it out there. Uh, I'm a big advocate on. Uh, well, I, I believe wholeheartedly in and and uh, you having to uh, be vulnerable or make yourself let yourself be vulnerable enough to uh, to, to win because a lot of times we don't um, want. We, we try to hide things or we let our insecurity insecurities stop us from moving forward uh, simply because we won't uh, put put it out there and uh, actually talk about it and uh, get help from other people and things of that sort. And uh, so for some time I've been dealing with for pretty much all my life. I've been dealing with what, what we call eczema um, and uh, allergies, food allergies, and uh, seasonal allergies, you know, through the through the trees and all those different things and things of that sort. And so, uh, I, it, it's been pretty tough, you know what I'm saying, because I've I've I've, I've dealt with it for quite some time. And uh, as I got older and I started to figure out more about what 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 it actually is, what eczema is, what asthma is, what allergies, or all of these things, where where they are, where they stem from, I found out that they actually stem from your gut. You know, uh, your, your your what it is you're eating is more of a internal thing than a out than, than a topical thing. And I, as you go to the doctors and things of that sort, you always find them trying to treat you. Uh, uh, topically, so they'd be giving you uh, steroids and antibiotics and things of that sort, and uh, that's that's pretty much what I went through ever since I was a baby. And so, um, as all of, all of those medicines and things of that sort, things like that compound uh, added to a uh, uh, improper diet, you know, full of uh, carbohydrate, not just carbohydrates, full of processed food, uh, full of things that had dairy in them uh, of this 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 the whole lot of junk a whole lot of different garbage because i never really knew that it was something that had to do with the inside um i end up developing something that they call leaky gut and uh i developed really really bad bad food allergies um and when i say bad food allergies i mean really bad food allergies and one thing you have to understand is that not everything is a food allergy. So I, I wanted to say food allergies. I mean food sensitivities because food allergies is where you have, where you could have an anaphylactic uh, situation. You know, if you eat a peanut, you'll die. As a matter of fact, you know, that's one of my, one of my bad allergies. And one day my daughter actually gave me one uh, on accident when she was a little bitty baby, you know, uh, and, and, and I almost, I almost did die from that. So I know firsthand on what it feels like to, to, to almost die from, from an allergy. Um, but as I got older, I developed more food sensitivity. So there were things that I already knew I had to avoid. And I knew that things in like dairy and stuff like that was already bad for me. So I've been stopped eating things like dairy, but it had got so bad. And, uh, as, as I as I went on my weight loss journey and I started trying to clear my diet up, clean my diet up and things of that sort, it had got so bad, uh, my, my skin just kept getting worse and worse and worse and worse. And so I, I went to the doctor and I said, look, you got to blood test me. And he didn't want to test me because they already gave me some pricks on the back and told me a lot of the things I was allergic to. But he, he, he did it. He did it anyway, and it came back that I was allergic to almost all fruits and almost all vegetables. I mean, I think that it probably was all fruits and vegetables, but he just couldn't. Te he didn't test everything. So the things that he tested, he came back I was allergic to melons, uh, carrots, spinach, everything. And so I'm like, man, what am I? What am I going to have to do? And at this time, I was looking at this this the eczema lady. Uh, what what's her name? I, I I'll put her link down uh in this video. But I was looking at at, at her channel, 
and she was talking about the elimination diet. And so I started doing the elimination diet and voila, everything cleared up. Like my my skin was almost perfect. You know, matter of fact, I'll put a couple of pictures before and after uh, on, so you can see how bad it had gotten. And then I'll sh show you how after I did uh, that elimination diet, how, 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 how everything had this cleared up and got great. The only problem with the elimination diet that, that, I, that I had was that I tried to stick to it, you know what I mean? And I was like anti-vegetable, anti-fruit, you know what I mean? Because those were the things that were harming me. But I knew that I can't go on for too long with, with just eating meat. But I did, you know, I kept eating the meat, I kept eating the meat, and everything was great. But then all of a sudden, everything started to reverse. And, and certain meats I started being allergic to. So I started being allergic to beef. You know what I mean? I had already stopped uh, uh, consuming pork just because it was, it was an unhealthy thing and, uh, spiritually. So I didn't want, I didn't want to have the, uh, the, the, pork, the pork intake either. So I stopped doing the pork, you know what I mean? But every time it seemed like something else. And uh, I was looking at different uh, different uh, natural paths, and I spoke to a couple, one of them, all of them, you know, persistent on bone broth, bone broth and fermented vegetables, saying you got to heal the leaky gut. And uh, I did that, and I, I continued to do that, I continued to do that, but nothing was getting better. And I knew all in my, in, 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 in my reality is that in order for me to heal this, I'm going to have to use... Uh, fruits and vegetables. I'm going to have to use vegetables because these are the things that everyone is basically saying you need to put in, in, in you know, and you can't really get a lot of, well, you could get the, uh, you could get the probiotics and all that stuff from, from, from the chicken and from the, uh, the, the bone broth, but, uh, I, I knew I needed the vegetables. So every time I would get supplements, the supplements would make me a lot worse because they were made out of vegetable tabs. It, it just got so, bad and I did not know what to do and uh one day I was looking online and I I, I saw this guy Rod Stewart and uh, Dr. Morris I've seen both of them around the same time they were talking about being uh fruitarians well Rob wasn't Rob Rob used to be but uh Dr. Morris is all about the fruitarian and uh even though sometimes he talks about you know still consuming vegetables and things of that sort the main focus that I got from that, the main thing that I got from that was detoxification. And, 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 and I started learning about the lymphatic system. And so these are the things that are like, aha, this might be it. And I, one day I heard uh, the, the, the gentleman from Spirit of Health, uh, he, he's one of them as well. He was talking about the lymphatic system and how to do a lymphatic system clean. And he was talking about the lymph nodes and, 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 and the glands. And he was showing where they were located. And uh, he said they were under your armpit and they were in your groin area. And I had always had these big knots under my armpit. And I was wondering, what, why, where, what are these? Are these fat pockets? You know, because I lost 202 pounds. And ever since I lost those pounds, I could feel them, feel them really well. And so I'm wondering what in the world are these? And so when he said they were under your arm area, I said, wow, this is what these are. And I feel down in my groin area right between uh, the crease of my leg. And I had them there too. And so I found out that my, my lymphatic system was, was clogged. I wasn't draining. I, I, I went to see someone naturally on muscle testing. I had been seeing her, and she had been always saying, you need to drain, you need to drain, you need to drain. And so one of my big problems was I wasn't draining. My liver was my, my liver and kid, they weren't filtering properly. So here here lies the major problem. And I'm like, man, what am I going to do? I mean, at least, at least now I know, now I understand, because this whole time I'm just trying to treat it with bone broth. And I'm trying to treat, uh, tr treat it, treat it with the, the the way that everyone else is treating it, and I knew my case had to be a little bit different at least because I can't consume the vegetables and fruits, the very things that I need. I talked to the gentleman from Spirit of Health, and he told me about something called a healing crisis. I had never heard of a healing crisis before. I never understood what the, the, the healing crisis was. And a healing crisis is pretty much just through detoxification, things are going to get worse before they get better. 
I didn't know how long this was going to take, but I, one of the things, what, what it was, was I was very afraid <laughs> to go through this, <laughs> go through this because I still have to work every day. I still have to be around people every day. And, and I really just didn't know how and how long and what it was going to, what, what, what it was going to make me look like. Um, but, but in all of this, I, I already had started having a lot of, uh, those, 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 the healing crisis. And I just didn't know it because I had already switched my diet around. And I had started taking different supplements and things of that sort. So I was already having one, but I just, I, I, I really didn't understand what it was. I really didn't understand that I was already starting to clean, to cleanse. So, uh, I just made up my mind that, I, oh, look, I don't care about what people think, what people say. I don't care about how I'm going to be looking at work. If I'm going to be looking crazy, at least it's going to be temporary. Rob, Rob, Rob Stewart had said that his took a good three months. And I was like, if it had to take three months, you know, shoot, I, I'll just do it. And so about about three, maybe three weeks ago, three weeks ago, three or four weeks ago, this is where I actually started this. Um, I had a little bit of time off of work. It was going to leave me 10 days. So I start, I started this and I, I started doing what Dr. Morris said, what, what Rob Stewart said, this, this eating fruits and vegetables, well, mainly fruits. I started on fruits. I started with grapes, a grape detoxification. And you know, it was absolutely bananas. <laughs> it was crazy. I mean, you see right now, even I'm going through a little bit of uh, some healing crisis. If you see this on my face, it's, it's all uh, broke out and, and it got very swollen and bumps around my eyes and things of that sort. It looks crazy now, but you know what? This is the greatest I felt in a long time because today I, I, I woke up and I felt like this was all worth it. I felt healing. I felt, you see my hair, my hair had started thinning out. It, it started falling out. I should say I started having scabs all in my head. My, my, my hair was very, very thin and, 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 um, uh, this started falling out and this, it wasn't this, this started happening before I actually start doing the, the, the detox. But once I start doing the detox, um, it, it got worse. It got very bad. Every day I would wake up, I would look like Skeletor. I would be ashy. It would just be full of ash. It would be hard and dry in my head and my face, my, my body period. It was, it was just horrible. I mean, I, I I really can't explain it. It was very scary. Like a lot of people would, wouldn't, 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 wouldn't continue to go through it. But I knew because I had already saw Rob talking about you're going to have to go through it. He told, talked about how things are going to start happen, happening. Uh, you will start having things happen in places that you <laughs> that you didn't think you would, and that sure did happen. I mean, I started having breakouts and and things going on everywhere. But you know, I, I I will say, even though I'm not out of the woods, I feel so great right now. And this all started with the master cleanse many years ago when I when I from the old the other video when I told you you know how how all of these things start happening how it was a gift and a curse it was it, it is absolutely a gift because i've learned discipline i've learned self control i learned a lot about my my this this thing called eczema i learned a lot about my health my insides you know what i mean and and and, and it really made me a better person one of the things that i did is i i, I this I'm, I'm 2 weeks now without without eating meat at all and um, I really never thought that I would be able to say that. You know, I had only been eating all meat, and then it got down to me only eating chicken, and I had got constipated, and uh, I just knew I just wasn't happy. You know, people would see me and just feel like, man, you lost all this weight. You know, you look, you know, as far as physically, I was looking better uh, as far as the, the the weight, but you know what I mean. My spirit was 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 down. I I wasn't feeling I wasn't feeling well. I wasn't feeling happy. You know, I couldn't do none of the things that I used to do. I couldn't go and chill with friends like I used to do, chill with them and do things because I just was I wasn't happy. I was dra I was I was drained. I. I you know, eating is a, is a big, is a big thing and you need to be happy when, with the things that you eat. You know, right now I feel so good today for lunch. I just had a, a big old bowl of grapes and blueberries and, uh, 
they were delicious. I had me some a pomegranate drink, you know, yesterday I had smoothies, you know what I mean? I, I mean, I'm having a lot of, of, of variety now of things, and I'm not breaking out. See, a, after this three weeks has passed, you know, I, I, I've, it seems like my system has gotten used to these things, and, and now I'm on a really, a really healing path, a, a, a healing path. I feel, I feel great, you know, so not, not only have I lost the 202 pounds, which this didn't all come from being a vegan or a plant-based or anything like that. Uh, that actually happened before I even decided that to, 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 to actually go, go forward with this. But I, I understand the breakdown. I understand the meat was clogging up my system. I, I, I believe, I, I understand like in, in a couple months, you know, I'm going to be the best me that, I, that I've ever been. You know what I mean? Because uh, uh, everything is going to be filtered right. The, the key is detoxification detoxification detoxing your body getting all of these toxins and things out of your body you know it it it, it, it it's crazy but you know you smell better uh i don't have I, I don't i stopped using the soaps you know the toothpastes and all those different things you know and 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 i mean i I mean, you, I barely have any smell. <laughs> I barely, now that I'm eating vegetables, I'm starting to smell things again, like, like you know, from, from the bathroom and stuff like that. But um, the detoxification, getting all these things out of your body, you'll be a lot better. You'll feel a lot better. And uh, you'll think a lot better. You'll breathe a lot better. You know, I was on a steroid, uh, a steroid inhaler. Uh, for my for 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 my asthma, uh, Advir. I couldn't do that. I, I would. I had to do it every day. You know. Then it's, so now it's been about four weeks since I've ever even touched that. You know what I mean? And so uh, it's all about healing yourself naturally. And uh, this this is the journey that I'm on. And since this is a big guy journeys page, I wanted to let you in on another part of my journey. You know. Uh, I know I'm looking crazy right now. I know I'm a little swollen, a little puffy over here, but this is a part of the journey. And I wanted you guys to see this part of the journey as well. Um, this just, just so you can see and know if you're going through something like that, it's possible to heal because I'm on a healing path right now. I mean, right now I'm seeing my hair literally grow back. I was looking crazy and I'm going to put a picture of, of how, 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 how crazy, crazier <laughs> I was looking. Uh, I mean, I didn't want to go anywhere. I want nobody to come over my house. I didn't want nobody to see me because I was looking a mess a mess but i wanted to just give a big thanks to rob stewart um i don't know him personally but you know this gentleman i mean a lot of what he says contradicts what a lot of other people say but i find it to be very valuable and very true you know um things that he's saying really make sense you know i was taking apple cider vinegar for a good year and I was always feeling like, man, it's just not really been, it's not beneficial to me. I think it might be harming me more. And uh, he, he said that, you know, people with eczema, especially with severe, severe issues like this, shouldn't be taking it. And so I stopped taking it. And this, this is a part of the result. You know what I mean? Uh, Dr. Morris, the same thing, you know, they, 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 they're not big advocates on going out and just buying all of these different uh, supplements, you know, because you can get all of that through, through the fruits and vegetables. You can get all of that through, through, through what, it, what you eat. And so I've, I've taken that in consideration because I was getting very tired of buying all of these supplements and uh, just wasting my money because I wasn't, I wasn't even able to take most of them. You know, they, they, they were making me worse in a lot of cases. So, um, yeah, I'm going to put their link down at the bottom as well. And uh, but I just wanted to give you guys an update. Some of you are updated, and then some of you let 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 you in on some of what I was going through. Uh, I hope this helps, and uh, definitely leave me a comment. You know, subscribe to my channel. I would love to stay connected with you all. Um, this is definitely a journey, and I think that the more I learn, the better I'm going to be, as far as spreading it out there and helping other people. Because I really feel like. Uh, I went through this. I think the Lord allowed me to go through this for a reason, and uh, I'm not. I'm not going to stay quiet about it. Take care. Take charge. And God bless.